This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Multi Lock Classic Euro Profile Cylinder that was sent to me by Bosnian Bill over at the Lock Lab. So, Bill, one more time, thank you very much for everything that you sent my way. This lock made its way to me in a bag in pieces, and when I was putting it together, I noticed it has a unique kind of driver pin, one I have never seen before and one that marks this as the oldest multi-lock I have ever picked. Now this driver pin was replaced because it had a security flaw in it that allowed these locks to be opened relatively easily with some specialized tooling. This diagram shows exactly what the problem was. There were relatively long inner driver pins there. So if you were to overset the the inner pins, it would create a large gap in between the upper and lower outer pins. Essentially what that would do is turn this 10 pin, pin in pin lock, into a normal 5 pin lock. So clearly a huge compromise for security, even if it did require some specialized tooling. To fix the problem, what they did is instituted the normal well, what is normal now, designed for the driver pins that we see in all the locks today. We have a much shorter inner driver pin with a tail that extends up through the top of the outer driver pin for stability. That way, even if you overlift that inner pin, you're not creating the gap in between the lower and upper outer pins. So, I don't have the tools to exploit that, However, what we are going to do is pick this guy open and hopefully it won't give us too much trouble. Okay, let's put some tension on this and start hunting for binding outer pins. Okay, click out of one, nothing on two, click out of three, little counter rotation on four, tiny bit, nothing on five. Going back to the beginning, nothing on one, two, another click out of three, nothing on four, little click out of five, back to one, another click out of the outer pin on one, and I feel something on the inner pin. I think I've got one completely set now. Nothing on two, three, click out of four, went into a deeper false set, and click out of five. Pulling back, I'm stuck on three, got a little click there, and let's go back to the beginning. One is loose. Two, getting counter rotation on the outer pin. Got him set. Three, click on the outer pin. Click out of four and five. Nothing on one, two, three. Okay, another click out of four. And five. Getting something on five, I'm not sure what. Let me go back there again. I think it's the inner pin we're working on here. There we go. Okay, back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two, click out of three. We probably just have inner driver pins now. Nothing on four or five, back to one. Okay, the inner driver pin on two opened us up. Okay, let's, uh, let's take this lock apart and I can show you those old style driver pins. Okay, we can lock this up because I do have a key and let's take this the C clip off. Okay, now I need the key and a follower and we should be able to open this up.
Okay, let's dump these key pins out first. Okay, a really deeply spooled outer pin on one, two appears to be standard, three is standard, four is standard, and five is standard. Okay, let's let's arrange all of these pins and then I'll get the driver pins out. Okay, got all of them out. Let's take a look at these drivers. Now they come apart in multiple pieces. Oh. Okay, so there's number one. And you can see the spring that normally went in between. Let's actually just put that in there. Okay, we have spooled inner and outer driver pins here. Okay, here's our spooled inner pin and another spooled outer pin. Another spooled inner and another spooled outer. another spooled inner pin, and a standard outer pin. And all of the outer pin springs are the same. Okay, let me give you a close-up of all of this. Okay, as you can see, all of the inner key pins are standard, as are outer key pins two through five. Outer key pin number one is very deeply spooled. Then looking at the inner driver pins, number one is standard and two through five are spooled. Then on the outer driver pins, you can see one and five are standard and two, three, and four are, are spooled. Moving over to this core, let's take a look what we have here. Looks pretty standard. We have some drill protection above and below the keyway with two hardened inserts. But other than that, nothing much to see here. Okay, this has been our very old multi-lock classic Euro profile cylinder. If you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.